Chapter Twenty One of Bindle by Herbert Jenkins. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Don W. Jenkins. Chapter Twenty One. Conclusion. So Artie comes around in the mornin' and says he's sorry, and Millikins she behaves jest like a little princess, holdin' her head as high as I, and agrees to go back, and everybody lives happy ever after. Everybody except me. Since that night, Mrs. B has given me pickles. I don't understand it, he added in a puzzled way. Seems as if she's sort of uffy, cause she dripped a bit. "'I think that is what it must be,' remarked Mrs. Dick Little. "'You must be gentle with her.' "'Gentle? You don't know Mrs. B, miss, I mean, mum. When Mrs. B's at one end of the broom and you're within range of the dust she raises, it's nippy you got to be, not gentle.' Mrs. Little laughed. It was a fortnight after the events at Mr. Hearty's house that had led up to Millie's leaving home, and Bindle was seated with the Littles in their new flat in Chelsea Palace Mansions. "'Yes,' continued Bindle after a pause, "'them two lovebirds is engaged, and Charlie Dixon's enlisted, and Millie's as proud as an en what's laid an egg. Artie's a different man, but it's Mrs. B what does me. She'd take the edge orf a chisel. Gentle, I'd like to meet the man who'd got the pluck to try it on with Mrs. B.' and bindle laughed good-humouredly and to think continued bindle looking quizzically from dick little to his wife to think that i helped you two to get tied up mrs little laughed gaily and bindle drank deeply of a large glass of ale at his elbow i'm afraid you're a terrible misogynist mr bindle said mrs little a what mum queried bindle with corrugated brow a woman hater explained little then you're wrong mum if you'll allow me to say so i don't hate women but persisted mrs little you are always suggesting how happy the world would be without us bindle removed his cigar from his mouth and bending forward towards mrs little remarked impressively you got old of the wrong end of the stick mum i ain't got nothing to say agin women i likes the ladies but broke in little didn't you solemnly warn me bindle now own up that's quite correct replied bindle with undisturbed composure i did as i would like a mate to do by me i just put up me and like and said dangerous crossing here same as they do for motors but you say you are not a woman hater i don't understand mrs little screwed up her pretty face in what little regarded as a most provoking manner well mum you're sort of mixin up women and wives i ain't got nothing to say against women provided they don't marry yer when they do they seems to change bindle paused then with unconscious philosophy added perhaps it's because they find out all about yer the silence that ensued was broken by bindle i suppose he said thoughtfully i'd sort of miss my little bit of evan if anything was to appen to her fancy goin ome and no one there to say got a job there was a note in bindle's voice which constrained little and his wife to silence after a minute's silence he added it can't be all honey livin with an eathen such as me for fully five minutes no one spoke it was again bindle who broke the silence it was you sir o course what played the little game on artie what the theodore hook joke inquired little bindle looked puzzled i mean the dogs and housekeepers and orphans i felt sorry for artie then and bindle laughed in spite of himself it was a cruel jest whoever played it said mrs little with decision and looking meaningly at her husband she added i hope i shall never know who did it or i shall speak very bluntly dick little looked uncomfortable and bindle created a diversion by rising well i must be off in it he remarked genially i enjoyed this little talk dick little preceded him into the hall bindle stepped back into the room miss uh, mum i mean he said awkwardly you ain't inclined to be religious are yer there was such earnestness in his voice that mrs little checked the laugh that was upon her lips no mr bindle i'm afraid i'm not at all a good person bindle heaved a sigh of relief then he's got a sportin chance he muttered half to himself good night mum and bindle closed the door behind him well eddie said dick little as he re-entered the room what do you think of j b not a bad sort of fellow eh 
dick i think he's a perfect dear and dick little expressed entire concurrence with his wife's view in a way that young husbands have end of chapter twenty one end of bindle by herbert jenkins read by don w jenkins rancho san diego california shaggybark.blogspot.com